Self-regulating heat cable is commonly used for freeze protection of water pipes and drain lines, and for protecting roofs and gutters from ice dams. Most self-regulating heating cable is made up of the following components. First, there's a protective outer jacket. Then there's a copper braid that provides additional protection and a positive ground path. Next is the inner flame retardant insulation jacket. And the last layer before we get down to the twin copper bus wires is the conductive core. This is where the self-regulating action occurs. Here's how it works. The core is made of a special plastic infused with millions of microscopic conductive electrical cells or pathways. In lower temperatures, the core contracts, causing more of the conductive cells to come in contact with one another, completing the circuit between the two bus wires, in effect turning the core into a resistive heating element. And when the ambient temperature is warmer, the conductive core expands, thus breaking the circuit between the bus wires and decreasing the amount of heat being generated. A big advantage to this design is that in longer runs, where heating cable may be exposed to varying ambient temperatures along the way, self-regulating cable can provide variable heating wherever and whenever it's needed along the entire run. Still have questions? We have answers. Call or chat online at omega.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.